Hey, good morning. It's snowing outside, and that reminds me, I need to do a video about some of the winter gear that I find useful doing photography out here. And so I'm gonna do that. There are a couple of moose out there. It looks like a cow with a calf. Yeah, she's a little, she's like 100 yards away just standing in the sagebrush, so that doesn't excite me. But I'm gonna do that. So uh, I'm gonna do that in my little office though. So I'm gonna cut to me in my office and uh, go over some of that kind of gear related stuff, okay? So cut to that starting right about now. And here I am back in the studio. So it's winter outside, but I'm gonna talk to you a little bit today about some winter photography essential items that I use in the winter time. And so winter time here in Wyoming can, it's, you know, drastic weather changing from snow to rain to nice sunny days to 30 below zero standing around to hiking around in the woods to skiing. So I need a total range of everything out here. And so I have a lot of stuff. Uh, and you certainly won't need all of this, or maybe you will, and maybe you need more than this. And that's cool. Uh, I'm not saying like this is the best way to do things, and I certainly would like to know if you guys see something that I'm doing that you know a better way of doing, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm always open to trying new things and figuring out better ways of doing things. So uh, I'll show you what I use, try and kind of give you an idea of why I'm using it, and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully it helps you out. Uh, that's that's the point here, is to give you guys some ideas that might help you and make your lives a little bit easier. So let's start with the big one. So people are asking me all the time what kind of gloves I wear in the wintertime. So these are my primary, I'd say, like mediocre winter day. So not, not super freezing cold, like not below zero kind of weather. These are the gloves I wear. These are made by Eddie Bauer. Speaking of Eddie Bauer, you're going to see so much of my gear is Eddie Bauer stuff. I'm not sponsored by them, although I'd love to be. If anybody from Eddie Bauer is watching, hook it up. Uh, but I buy a ton of Eddie Bauer stuff because, for a couple of reasons. One, they're like one of the only menswear places in town. Uh, so we have a physical Eddie Bauer store here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And it's a great store and they make nice stuff. Uh, they have awesome sales. So this video is actually timely because this video is going to be posted here in mid-November. Um, I buy all my Eddie Bauer stuff on like super sale. So they, they regularly have like 40% off everything sales. And then a couple times a year they have 50% off everything. And one of those is coming up. Uh, and that usually happens, I think, either on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or maybe both. So that's coming up soon. Uh, for if you're watching this video in early November. And literally you can walk in the store and everything is half off, which is awesome. So this, this gear is great, like super great value at half off. And so I buy all this stuff at half off and um, it works great for me. Um, so anyway, you're gonna see a ton of Eddie Bauer stuff here. And that's why. Uh, so these gloves are Eddie Bauer. These are, I think they're guide gloves and they are not super heavy, but uh, they're very form-fitting and they kind of have these nice curved fingers kind of pre-built in. Uh, so I really like that and they, they're really nice for holding the camera. Um, one thing that's important to note is the finger, the shutter finger and fingers for operating buttons, the, uh, the way they sew the leather here is really nice in that you don't have these big ridges and bumps, like you get really good tactile feedback with this style of uh, finger sewing. And I'll show you a couple, I'm gonna get into these gloves a little bit later, but like here's a different glove that I have that I really love these gloves. They're nice and warm, they're beautifully made, but they've got this uh, kind of the way they sew the leather here on the fingertip, you don't get as good a tactile feedback on that because of the way it kind of bunches up at the seam where they've sewed it. Sewn, where they've sewn it. Um, so these Eddie Bauer gloves are great. These are kind of a nice, just all around winter glove. Uh, they work great for holding the camera and operating controls. So these are my primary one. When it starts to get colder, 
I then move to another Eddie Bauer product. I forget what these are called, but I'm going to link to all this stuff in the description below. Uh, these are kind of a mitten style with the, with the trigger finger. So I can use that as my shutter. Again, the reason I got these is because this finger, the way they've sewn the leather at the fingertip, there's no seam there. So it, you get really good tactile feedback for operating buttons. Works awesome. Um, I like when it gets colder to have this mitten style for my other three fingers to help keep them warm. And there's room in here that I can put in a little hand warmer, which I'm gonna get to in a minute, these hand warmers. Uh, these little packets that fit in there and generate heat. And like I can be out in these in like super freezing weather. Uh, these are my go-to like really cold weather glove. And they work great. But the, more, the important point there is that this finger, uh, you know, if you don't have an Eddie Bauer store or you just want to go down to your local store and look for gloves, I think what's most important to me is having this finger uh, be uh, such that you can get good tactile feedback when you're pressing the shutter. And like this one doesn't work that way. Hopefully you can see that on the video here, but how it's got that weird seam sewn in there. And these are great gloves. I love them and I use them for everything except photography. They don't work so great because of that seam. Okay, so that's important. There's gloves. And I do actually have, like, if it's really, really cold, like if I'm going to be standing around in 20 or 30 below, I've got these big expedition mittens by Marmot. And these are like, you know, I'm not going to get cold in these. Uh, I don't use these very often, but if I know I'm going out and it's 20 or 30 below and I'm going to be standing around waiting for the light to change or waiting for an owl or something, I'll bring these along and I can just, you know, wear them until uh, I need to start operating the camera. Because obviously I can't operate the camera with these, but if I'm just hanging out in cold weather, I'll bring these. These will keep me warm. Okay, now on to hats. Now maybe you didn't notice, but I don't have much insulation up here. So I'm almost always wearing just a very super lightweight cap. And this one's made by Arcteryx. Uh, and I love this one. It's uh, like moisture wicking. It's super light. Uh, it's not too hot. It's, um, it's not great for super cold, but I have other hats for that. So you'll often see me wearing this in the car or just pretty much all the time in the winter. I have one of these on just to kind of keep my head a little bit warm, but very lightweight material. And I have a few, a few different ones of these that I just keep like in the house, in the car, um, just floating around. Cause I always need something on my head, almost always in the winter time. This is like my go-to winter cap. This one's made by Sitka. Uh, it's got a little bit of insulation in there, but it's still relatively lightweight. So it's not bulky or cumbersome, but uh, you've, probably seen me in the videos in this one. This is like my great, kind of like my go-to just average winter day, like these gloves and this hat. These are my go-to for a normal winter scene. On a super freezing cold day, I'll put this on one because I like looking a little goofy once in a while. And this is like, you know, insulated, super warm. Like I'm going to totally overheat in this, but keeps the ears warm. Like if it's cold and windy, boom, I've got this on. I'm not going to get cold at all. I'm going to have a great day no matter what. Again, Eddie Bauer, but tons of people make these. Uh, just find one in this style that you like. I found this one like on clearance. Um, I didn't care what color it was, whatever. So it was just the cheapest one they had. So I got that. Works great. Uh, boots. Let's go to boots next. So for winter, like full on winter boots, I have, I have two pair of boots that I like. The first one here is Muck Boot, and this is the Arctic Sport version. Uh, these are like totally bomb proof. They're completely waterproof. So you can be walking like in the water up to here, completely submerged and be completely dry. You can stand in water all day long. These will be dry all day long. Um, I find these to be extremely warm, even when it's not actual water. If I'm just tromping around in the snow, these are crazy warm. Like I can stand around in 20 below zero. These will keep my feet warm. These are great. Uh, I have a second pair of winter boots that I use that are also awesome. These are probably even just a hair warmer. They're, the reason I have these is these are way more comfortable. 
So because these are like this heavy neoprene, they're very stiff, like it won't bend. So these are just not as comfortable in that they don't flex and move with you very much. They're completely waterproof, and that's why I love those. These are not completely waterproof. Uh, they'll certainly keep you dry all day long in snow and like slush and stuff like that. But if you have to actually be in water, I would take the muck boots every time. But these are way more comfortable because they, f they flex and they move with your foot. And, um, but again, super warm. I think these might even be warmer than those. And these are made by Sorel. Uh, these are like super bomber winter boots. So that's what I like to use uh, in the winter most of the time unless I'm going to be in the water. And then it's the muck boot Arctic Sport. Okay, what's next? Uh, hand warmers. So I just buy a, like a box of these at the beginning of every winter. Um, I just grab these off of Amazon or whatever. You can get them wherever you want. Uh, little hand warmers. And like two come in a pack. So you just rip these open and then they take about 10 minutes or so to start warming up. So kind of uh, jump in there before... Before you know you're going to need them, open them up and get them, get them generating heat. And then uh, I'll just slide them in to my gloves, into these gloves. There's a nice little spot there. And uh, they'll keep my hands warm for like six hours. They work really great. So get some of these, definitely. These will make your life so easy. And I just, you know, grab a handful of these things and chuck them in the car. So I've always got some ready to go. Uh, anytime I'm going to get out of the car and be out there in the in the wild i've got hand warmers and these will make your life so much more enjoyable out in the field when you don't have freezing cold hands so little hand warmers work great uh, this is the eyepiece from a nikon uh, currently i'm using a d850 but this will fit like the d5 and the d4 and about any any of those that have the round eyepiece this is an anti-fog eyepiece so, you know, you can breathe on it and stuff. And these work really well. Uh, like a lot of time, anti-fog stuff, uh, you, I'm kind of disappointed with its performance. Um, but these work really well. This is the Nikon DK17A. Uh, and then this has the little rubber eye cup I like to use as well. But uh, this, the little clear piece is anti-fog and it works great. And you just, I just swap it out every year. I buy a new one and just screw it on to my eyepiece and then I'm good to go. Uh, highly recommended. They work really, really well. Uh, another thing that I like to keep handy in the wintertime at all times in the car, uh, if I'm going to be out for a longer, a longer walk or a hike or something, I'll even throw this in my backpack. This is a jet boil um, so I can make myself some hot tea. So in this little jet boil package, uh, everything I need is in here. The fuel canister, I've got a few little things of some tea packets in there, um, the little stand, and a little lighter. So I can just fire this sucker up, boom, and make up some tea just in a matter of a minute or two. And I can drink it right out of the cup. It's awesome. So I, I picked the smallest one just because it's easier to throw into my backpack. And uh, highly recommend getting yourself a jet boil. Makes winter a lot more tolerable when you have something warm to drink with you. Hydro flask. Kind of go together. Uh, so this is just a, it's, it's green and yellow, which is awesome, right? Everybody loves green and yellow, or maybe it's just me. But just a nice little insulated um, drinking. Put my coffee in here or some tea or whatever, and this will keep it hot for much longer. So a hydro flask and a jet boil. Those are awesome. Finally, on to the next one. So I mentioned the Eddie Bauer uh, sale thing. So pretty much every year for the last 10 years, I go down to Eddie Bauer and they're 50% off sale and I buy a jacket. Uh, so I have like, as you've seen in videos, if you watch them, a bajillion jackets. Uh, sorry, it's like I have a weird um, jacket obsession. So I have like one for every potential situation. Totally overkill. I get it. Uh, sorry, that's just that's just how it how it is. So I'm going to do a quick rundown of some of the Eddie Bauer jackets and show you maybe just a couple of the ones that I really specifically like for winter time. Okay.
So on the jackets, I'm not even sure what to suggest or to tell you on the jackets. I just kind of have one for every occasion. So I've got uh, obviously different down jackets from lightweight down all the way up to like expedition heavyweight down. Um, synthetic, I've got some super light. I don't have a really heavy synthetic insulation jacket, but the synthetic works better when it's wet. So if I know I'm gonna be out hiking or sweating, uh, I'll throw on a synthetic jacket. Um, I've got some that are waterproof. Most of them aren't, but a couple that have uh, waterproof uh, breathable membrane to keep dry. I just have a ton of jackets to choose from, so go pick yourself out some nice jackets, whatever you like. Uh, obviously, I'm very fashionable. Um, I think that super bright orange yellow one is my favorite, just because it's so obnoxious. So that end of the video today. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out. Uh, click the links below to see any of the Amazon links will be affiliate links. So I'll make a couple of bucks if you buy any products there, which would be appreciated. Uh, check out that Eddie Bauer sale, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Look for the 50% off. Um, really good value to buy stuff from them at 50% off. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Enjoy the winter. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye.